Um, hi. There's supposed to be a bumper here. But there's not. So look at my logo. Pretty. Okay, guys. It's really hot out here. I've already recorded this twice. One time the environment was too loud. And last time, uh, it stopped recording in the middle because Filmic Pro hates me. So, we're going to try to film this one last time very quickly because it's extremely hot. So I'm going to shut up and I'm going to get right into it. A couple months ago, I participated in the Disability Rights Film Challenge. This is a 48-hour film festival for filmmakers with disabilities. I had decided before I ever went in that this was my moment. I was going to get national attention. I was going to get an Oscar nomination. This was how I was going to become the filmmaker that I wanted to be. Naturally, that didn't happen at all. I thought about all of the reasons why my film did not work the way I wanted it to, and I wanted to share those with you today. First thing is to write your film in traditional script writing format. This is huge. Here's why. The rule of thumb in script writing is to write one page for every minute of the film. So for example, if you want to do a five minute short film, your script should be no longer than five pages. When you have a strict time limit, like on a 48 hour film festival, this rule of thumb could save your life. I wrote my script on Microsoft Word and it turned out to be twice as long as I wanted it to. So when I got to post-production, I had to cut out so much dialogue that I pretty much lost the entire story. If I were you, if you're shooting a five minute film, I would write a four page script in traditional script writing format so you have an extra minute of cushion to bring out those moments that are really important to your film. Tip number two, is to plan ahead. This is actually something that I did get. I had actors ready, location set, I had more equipment than I've ever had before, and I was ready to shoot this film. As a result, I was able to audition my actors and know exactly what they were capable of beforehand so I could write a script that brought out their strengths. I knew I had all the equipment to pull off my vision, and I was ready to go into the first day of filming, knowing exactly how I was going to light and shoot everything. This was incredibly helpful during shoot day. Number three is to keep it simple. Because I had a script that was way too long, and a plan that was way bigger than the scope of what you should ever try to shoot in a 48 hour film festival, my script took too long to shoot, and we didn't have enough time in post to make it look as good as we wanted. Because I had all this gear and all these resources and these great actors, I spent way too much time planning this giant vision. I had a lot of great shots, a lot of grandiose lighting, and a film that was shot in a warehouse with amazing cinematography. But there was no way to put that together properly in 48 hours. It just wasn't practical. When you're filming a 48 hour film festival, you need to focus on only the three most important things in the film. Story, character, and clarity. Nothing else matters. And honestly, if you have all of that accomplished in a 48 hour film festival, you've got to leg up over most of the other competitions. Because to shoot a good story well in 48 hours is a daunting task. Number four is very similar to number three, which is to have a few money shots planned for your film, but to save them for last. Because we all love that fun cinematography, but it's not nearly as important as shooting for coverage, because your first priority should always be to finish the story. Which brings me to number five, which is finish the story at all costs. To finish a film in 48 hours, you have to spend a lot of time and a lot of energy in that weekend working on that film. I spent well over 30 hours of the 48 hours I had 
working on this film. I slept very little. Had I worked for 30 hours on this script and not finished, I would have had nothing to show for it. However, I did finish the script, and I was able to see that finished on the screen. It wasn't what I wanted it to be, but it was finished. And that's so important to wanting to do the next 40 hour film festival, which brings me to number six. Have fun. When you're shooting a 48 hour film festival, you're going to be doing a lot of work. It's hard. But if you're in it for anything other than to have fun, you've missed the entire point. The only reason to shoot a 48 hour film festival is because you enjoy the filmmaking process and you want to challenge yourself. And if you do that, you're going to have a good time. If you forget that filmmaking is fun, then you should stop making films until you have fun in it. The only reason to do it is because it brings you joy. Okay guys, that's it for this video. If you liked it, please don't forget to hit like. If you're against hitting, feel free to caress it or softly pet it. I don't judge. It's totally up to you what you do with the like button. Subscribe if you want to see more of this space. I upload a video every week. If you hit that little bell icon, you'll get a notification every time I do. In the meantime, I got a roll. It's been real. It's been fun. It's been real fun. I'll see you next week.